We are looking ahead to St. Patrick's Day on the University of Dayton campus coming up this weekend. UD officials say they're encouraging their students to stay safe this weekend. Of course, you may remember five years ago, those celebrations got out of hand and dozens of arrests had to be made. Two News reporter Dana Smith is live now with how UD is preparing for St. Patty's this coming weekend. That's right, Mark. I'm right here in one of the neighborhoods surrounding University of Dayton campus. And UD police say they will have extra officers on the street this weekend surrounding these streets right here. And the university itself says that they're planning a number of alcohol-free events. The goal, they say, is to keep students safe. It's not long until St. Patrick's Day, and UD police say they're ready for this weekend's festivities and the crowd it'll bring. Chief Rodney Chapman said additional officers will work alongside local law enforcement to monitor the campus and the surrounding neighborhood. We go back to seven years what occurred, and what I focus in on is the six years since where our students have demonstrated the, the character that we know that they have and that they know how to learn and live in community with one another and look after one another. Back in 2013, a riot broke out, but Chapman pointed out the students involved in that have already graduated and things have changed. Dean of Students Chris Schramm said student drinking is always a concern for the university. And so UD has many campus events planned for the holiday weekend that are alcohol free. Not everyone has to or should engage in this kind of behavior. Not everyone has to enjoy a beer at St. Patrick's Day. But what we have here is different opportunities, people to go to a baseball game, people to be able to go see a play, um, people to be able to enjoy each other with a trivia night. UD students Jamie Veeson said she'll be reminding other students that the rules don't change on St. Patrick's Day. It's fine to have fun, but it's important to stay safe. In different conversations with my own friends, we just plan on having fun and being responsible together, but also looking out for our other community members. I do live in the neighborhood, and so, you know, one of the things that we really focus on is how can we not only make sure that we're safe this weekend, but also looking out for our fellow flyers. And police say they do have enough resources to keep the streets safe this weekend, and they're not expecting any major problems. Live in Dayton, Dana Smith, 2 News, working for you.